2003, myself and Dr. As Reza Azmi and four other people came together to form Wild Asia. Our work in palm oil is um, our most important aspect. We, we work principally with smallholders and we take them through the certification process, the RSP or certification process. On top of that, we, we work with them to improve their management of the palm um, and to promote skills to do with soil regeneration and to do with biodiversity conservation. The WAX is basically stands for Wild Asia Group Scheme. Yeah? So what we do is we group smallholders together under one certification and um, we take them through the training, through the preparations and all the documentation and then we take them through the audit to get uh, their RSPO certification. So that basically is, is, is uh, the work that we do through WAGS. WAGS Bio is another program which came later on. In fact, um, we only started, uh, I would say, somewhere around the middle of 2019. The main reason was that, what can we do after certification? What else can we teach the farmers? What else can we bring the farmers to the next level of sustainability? And of course, uh, bio, which basically gauges the notion of regenerative agriculture, what bio is all about. So we're looking at soils, we're looking at how do you bring back life to a dead soil. So it's a, it's a baseline, a very, very bottom of the baseline, if you like. You can't get any further down than dead soil. So how do you bring back life? And you bring back life by adding organic matter, by using enzymes and bacteria and act active fungi, the kinds of things that you can easily make yourself. Farmers can make them, farmers can spray them. Uh, they just got to follow a, follow a regime, follow a program and we find within three years you can bring back life to the soil and we are guessing within about 10 years you can have pretty good living soil and that living soil is then the basis for the palm to produce more fruits, bigger fruits, heavier fruits which means more yield, which means more money for the farmer. So that's the aim. One of the things that we have we have achieved actually is that we have lowered their operational costs and their production costs. So of course their profitability has improved. Some of them may not physically have noticed it even, but many of them have already said, actually I'm getting a little bit more money nowadays you know, because I don't have to buy fertilizer, I don't have to buy pesticides and weedy sites, so of course I'm making a little bit more money. But a lot of them are at a stage where they are only committing a very small portion of their land. Slowly we're getting more and more of them spending to their whole uh, area. So that will definitely slowly show the significance of the profitability uh, of, of, of uh, doing bio. Our vision uh, is to reimagine Malaysian, particularly Malaysian palm oil will be like in 10, 20, 30 years time. We envisage something totally different to the monoculture we have now. We envisage that there'll be many, many more uh, farmers who are farming organically. So we see, a, we see a palm oil landscape in the future where you have biodiversity within the farm, you have bio, biodiversity around the farm, and you have interconnectivity between uh, farms in a landscape. So the whole landscape should be more interconnected, both for wildlife, but also for, for humans and the way they farm. Personally, coming from the UK, I am from a family that farm. Farmers are the, the guardians of the landscape. In Malaysia, we have the planters, the smallholders can be seen in that same way. You are protecting the countryside for future generations of Malaysians through the way, the way you farm. So no longer using so many chemicals, no longer doing so many bad practices, thinking about how you can connect the landscape and create something that everyone can enjoy. So I would say what we would like to do in Wild Asia is possibly continue to work on our bio program, which we believe will eventually come to the stage where we can convince everybody that the soil is important. Maintaining the, the, the life of the soil and bringing back that nature story in the soil where the microbes and the trees are going to live in harmony and help each other. That is where I think we are moving to it. In the next 20 years, maybe that's the, the direction that we are really heading in. How can we convince more and more people to accept this method and to get to the point where it becomes a norm?